Hey guys, we got to 10,000 subs! Yes, sucked intro! Thank you for being our subs, we love you guys! And so to celebrate in true PsyQ style, let's bust five science myths in less than five minutes. Myth number one, is urine sterile and can you drink it? Well, despite this awesome scene from Fight Club, Urine is not sterile. Normal healthy people will have a colony of bacteria hanging out in their bladder. The myth comes from your urine test for urinary tract infections. If you get a negative on your UTI test, it doesn't mean that you actually tested negative for bacteria. It just means your bacteria levels are below the threshold for an infection. But since the amount of bacteria in healthy human urine is pretty low, you could drink it. What if iced tea? Milk is good for your bones. Okay, let's get one thing straight. The food pyramid is bunk. It's a lie. It was designed by companies with corporate interests in what gets put in your shopping trolley, like the dairy industry. Conventional wisdom says that dairy products help build strong bones by providing calcium. But milk is just one of many, many sources of calcium. Dark leafy green vegetables and some types of legumes are some of the other sources. And there's some important reasons why milk might not be the best source for everyone. The truth is that the bioavailability of calcium in milk isn't even that high. And there's other factors like exercise and protein and vitamin D intake that are far more important for bone health. Myth three, brain cells can't regenerate. Many people think that we're born with all the brain cells we're ever gonna have or all the neurons we're ever gonna have. And once they're gone, they're gone for good but science shows brain cells can regrow. Researchers at Cornell University have demonstrated that cells from the hippocampus, the part of your brain essential for learning and memory, can regenerate in a laboratory dish. Now there's something to toast to. Myth number four, there's no gravity in space. Yale researchers have found that yes, there is actually gravity in space and there's lots of it. And it's true that as you travel further away from the Earth, its gravitational pull weakens. However, the pull fades away pretty slowly and the gravity never fully goes away. Gravity is everywhere in space. The objects that are in space are continuously falling towards a galactic center. Now you might be thinking, how did astronauts float about while they're in space? Well, these astronauts are in the midst of an orbit around the Earth, so they're not experiencing no gravity or they would fly off into space. They're actually experiencing a ton of gravity, but they don't have anything in their tracks to stop them. This concept is known as free falling and it's why you get the feeling of weightlessness when you're in outer space. So although a penny is made out of hard copper, it's extremely difficult for a penny to transform into a deadly weapon. Even if it is tossed off a building as high as the Empire State Building, a penny is far too flat and small in size to kill you and on its way down to the ground, it's buffered by far too many air particles. Plus, it reaches terminal velocity, which means it can't go any faster. It's the end of the acceleration. So it's not like it gets faster and faster as it drops. It reaches a certain speed and then that's as fast as it's gonna get. So because of all this air resistance and because of terminal velocity, the penny would actually just drift to the ground like an autumn leaf. Lewis Bloomfield, a physicist at the University of Virginia, says that if you happened to be walking on the sidewalk at the time of the penny's descent and the penny did end up hitting you, it would feel kind of like someone lightly flicked you on the head. So now it's back to you guys. Which myth did you think was real? I was pretty surprised by the urine being sterile one. I'd always thought that it was actually sterile. Did you have any other myths that you'd like us to bust? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for getting us to 10,000 subscribers. You guys help us to be able to do what we do and we'll see you on the way to 100,000. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.